Good morning. Hey, Satan has one more very desperate stratagem to try. Can he get Jesus to throw himself down off that cross? Can he get him to come down? That would be the fulfillment of Satan's desire. Let's look at it today in Mark 15, verse 29 through 32. And those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests also, mocking among themselves with the scribes, said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, let him descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Even those who were crucified with him reviled him. So there it is. It's coming from every side. The, the priests are down there mocking him. The crowd, some of those people are doing it. The, the very thieves that are crucified on, on his left and on his right side, they are saying, yes, if you're the Son of God, come down and save us all. You know the story. Satan is running out of time and options to defeat Jesus. He, he's, he's, I mean, he's down to the last minutes, and he has to get Jesus to, to break for it, to, to come down off the cross, to show his power. So Satan's pulling out all the stops this, this last moment in time. He's glad that Jesus is suffering and being tortured and he's going to die, but, but he is trembling afraid that Jesus, Jesus still hasn't sinned yet. And so Satan wants Jesus to, to forsake trust in, in the Father and come down off the cross. And if he can do that, at this last moment, the whole thing will be lost, down in flames. So everything, everything rests on this point. Satan... He can't help but think of Jesus thinking the way he himself would think. And if Satan, if Satan were hanging on that cross, and if he could, could call out, if he could get his power back, if he had power that was taken away and he could get it back and come down off the cross and just start crushing people uh, with gleefully, that's exactly, of course, that's exactly what Satan would do. And so he is, he is trying to poke and prod. He's trying to do everything he can to get Jesus to come down off that cross and do that very thing. A, a devil's bad enough, but a desperate devil is, is the worst of all. So here he is putting Jesus to the absolute maximum test here. So he invests the minds, Satan invests the minds of his agents, all these unconverted uh, people uh, gathered around there. He invests their minds with the, the urgent uh, plan to, to mock Jesus and get him to come down off the cross and show his, show his godness by coming down. Jesus doesn't do it. He's not going to do it. He's not going to make a mistake here at this last moment. He, although he is under in, uh, unspeakable duress, Jesus stays up there. Why? Because he loves you. Because he loves me. And he's willing to pay the ultimate price. And so, yes, Jesus remains on the cross. He doesn't come down and smash these guys. In fact, if any of them turn to him and repent, he will he will be giving his life for theirs. Now that is love. Look at it from Jesus' standpoint. It seems like every person he's dying for is showing utter contempt for him, just hatred and mocking and, and torturing him. And the disciples, they've all ran away and fled. I mean, everything looks like it's come absolutely to a total crash, a total fail. And yet Jesus stays up there and he would do that for you and me. They seem to be showing that they have no real love, that they are really utterly worthless people. And so you want to die for these people, but Jesus does. So there you have it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that at this last moment of uh, unspeakable testing that Jesus didn't fail. He, he stayed on the cross to pay the penalty for, for my sin, for, for the sins of all who are listening. Bless us, Lord. We pray with some, some recognition of, of understanding of the value and the love and the empathy and the sympathy that Jesus has for me, for us. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Jesus understands this deception, and he's going to stay up there, and he's going to die on the cross, and that'll be tomorrow morning in verses 33 to 37. So we're right at the edge here. God be with you today and give you and me a sense of the love of God when we look at what Jesus does for us on the cross. God be with you.